Hi, this is the short video presentation of 3D Gaussian splatting for real-time radiance field rendering. We propose to use 3D Gaussians as a new representation for radiance fields. We show that 3D Gaussians preserve desirable properties of continuous volumetric radiance fields while avoiding unnecessary computation in empty space. We start with a set of cameras and a point cloud provided by structure from motion during camera calibration. Next, we optimize a set of 3D Gaussians to represent the scene. Finally, we render transparent anisotropic Gaussians and backpropagate their gradients to their properties. After the optimization, the 3D Gaussians often take on extreme anisotropic properties to represent the very high frequency geometry like vegetation. Gaussians are a compact and fast representation. In this example, we scale down their extent so we can see that the spoke of the bicycle can be represented with a handful of Gaussians. Here, we visualize the progress of the 3D Gaussian point cloud during optimization in a time lapse. In summary, 3D Gaussians are the first to achieve state of the art quality, real time rendering, and a fast training, and all of these at the same time. Here we show some interactive sessions recorded in our lab with an A6000 GPU. Please note that real-time rendering can also be achieved with less powerful hardware. We ran an extensive evaluation and used multiple datasets, BIPNA360, Tanks and Temples, Deep Blending, and Nerf Synthetic. We also compared our algorithm against recent methods like BIPNA360, Instant NGP, and Planoxels. In our quantitative evaluation, 3D Gaussians achieve overall equal and sometimes better quality than the best models that are slow to train and render. While 3D Gaussians maintain fast training and an order of magnitude faster rendering. Here we compare side by side with several algorithms. In many cases, we are better than MIPNA 360 while rendering faster than 100 frames per second. We achieve higher visual quality than Instant NGP with similar training times and fewer failure cases. We also did a careful ablation study to evaluate the different design choices of our algorithm. Here we show that even if we stop the training in 7,000 iterations, which takes approximately 6 minutes, we retain great visual quality. We also show what happens if instead of using the SFM point cloud for initialization, we initialize with a random set of points sampled uniformly in the scene. Another important element of our method is the anisotropy of the 3D Gaussians, which has a big impact on the final quality. Thank you for listening. Please visit our website for the paper, the code release, and all the supplemental material.